Hey everybody, welcome to my new YouTube channel. I just want to create a channel to show how cheap and easy hydroponics can be, just to give your family some fresh produce all year long. So I'm starting off with some lettuce that I kind of cheated and bought a starter pack at a local nursery this spring, but you can make them from seeds. You can start them from seeds, I should say. So uh, let's get to it. So this is what I grow them in. It's just a 15 gallon storage tote. You can pick up at Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, Walmart might have them. I'm not sure I picked mine up at Home Depot. Uh, it's got an inch and a half thick piece of rigid foam insulation that I cut to size just to set over the top. And then the little green circles are little neck cups that I 3D printed. Uh, I'll put the link to the file if you have a 3D printer and want to 3D print your own. You can also buy net cups on Amazon and I'll also put that link down below. I 3D printed these so they'd be a little bit longer than the standard because I was using an inch and a half thick foam. If I used one inch I could probably get away with the ones that I already had that I bought on Amazon. So and then this picture shows what it looks like underneath and you'll see the you see the little slots in the net cups that's for the roots to grow out so this is a starter pack of butter crunch lettuce that i picked up at a local nursery you can find them all over at big box stores home depot lowe's uh local hardware stores local nurseries so they're just packed in potting soils where they start their seeds at and when they come out of the little plastic cup this is what they look like and I didn't get a video of it but I just dunk them in water and slowly carefully pull the roots apart and some of the little roots will break and that's okay the plant will still keep going and be just fine as long as it's not too many of them obviously okay you just take this get your leaves out of the way pull this apart Plant in there, let it squeeze around the stock, drop it into your neck cup, kind of push it down. You can see the roots are down in line with the holes and put it in there. Okay. So here they all are. I put some two by four boards that I had laying around, just some weight, so that way the wind doesn't blow it off because right now the plants are so small. And the foam is so light, I didn't want to worry about wind catching it and blowing it across the yard or anything. So it's June 12th when I got these started. Uh, if you're starting from seed, it would probably be a week or two to get them to this stage size-wise. So it's now July 9th. And you can see one of them didn't make it. The one down the lower right-hand corner didn't make it. Uh, the two in the middle aren't doing as well as some of the others. The ones along the left are just super nice, bright green, doing really, really well. And I don't think that has anything to do with the placement. I mean, they're just sitting out on my deck out in full sun. I think it's just the genetics of the seed, probably. It just some plants do better than others. So and here's a side view looking at them that they're doing really, really well. And it's been, so I started them on June 12th. This, July night, so just under a month. So six days after the previous picture, this is what it looks like on July 15th. They're really filling up that tote. Uh, nine plants was probably too much for this 15 gallon tote. They're getting pretty crowded. Here's the root system. It nice, bright, bright white leaves. It's kind of trippy the way that they interlock with each other. Uh, here is a picture of the side view of a plant with the whole plant and the roots. So here it is a week after the previous picture. It's July 22nd. Uh, as you can see, they're really crowded. I shouldn't have put that many plants on top of a 15 gallon tote. They're just way too crowded. They're still healthy. Uh, they haven't been using too much water at this point. I haven't added any water or nutrients to the uh, original since I, I filled it up originally, they're just way too crowded and it's too high of a risk of disease having them this crowded. 
So what I used for nutrients was Master Blend tomato mix. You can buy it on Amazon. You can buy it some other places online. I just order from Amazon for the convenience of it. It ends up shipping from the other places. You can order it online. It's not something that Amazon keeps in their warehouse. Uh, I don't go full strength, though. It's got a recommended dosing level, and I go about half that for lettuce or any of the other greens. Otherwise, it's just too hot for the lettuce, and it'll kill them. And I, that's about it for this video. Um, it's really awkward making these. I'll try and improve the quality of my narration and the quality of the content. So for a first run, let's see how this goes.